It's Jeremy Williams with the Bannock Real Estate Group. And I just want to let you know, we put together these videos because it's really important to us that we get relevant, accurate information into the marketplace as the market changes so you can make the best decisions. If you like the information we're providing, please subscribe. It makes a big difference for us. And then also, if you'd like to see a certain uh, video about you know, a certain topic, make a comment. We'd love to hear from you. With that, let's get into it. Hey, it's Jeremy Williams, the Bannock Real Estate Group, and today I'm really excited to talk about the numbers. We're going to be looking at what's already gone on the first month of this year, and it's very telling and surprising in a lot of ways. So if you watched our last um, market report, it was a long one, but you can tell that we put specific dates and things that we'd be watching this year to give us some indication of where the market's going. So with that, let's get into it and talk about where we're at, most importantly, where we're heading to it. One of the first things we want to look at is what's going on in each price range. Well, we're starting to see a separation of two different markets. And what I mean by that is there's usually a price where you're at the top of one market and you're at the bottom of another market. And there's usually a middle zone that is a little bit of a struggle for some buyers and other buyers can go up quite a bit more and it makes it a little bit tougher to sell those houses. Well, right now, as of last month, I expect to see this change as we go through the year, but it was 600 to 700,000. In that price range, uh, it was still a little bit more of a normal to buyer's market. If you're under 600,000, it was definitely a seller's market. If you're over 700,000, it was still more of a stronger seller's market than it is buyer's market. And how we tell this is we look at what we call absorption rate. Absorption rate is basically supply and demand. If you watch our last video or some of our uh, other videos that we've had in the past, we go through absorption rate in, in good detail. But what we look at is if there's six months of inventory, it's considered a normal market. If you're over six months, it'd be a buyer's market. Or if you're under six months, it's a seller's market. Our overall market is at 1.94 months of inventory. So still a very strong seller's market as we head into this year. One of the most surprising things that we saw is if we look at the price range from 900 plus, so over a million, two million, three million. Um, I think, if, again, if you watch the last video, in 15 out of the 20 years that I've been in real estate, it'd be a surprise if we saw two, three, four homes over a million dollars. Well, since 2019, we know that's changed. Um, last year, we saw over 56 homes sell over a million dollars. So what's surprising is, even with an increased in interest rate, and you know the change in demand already in january there's been eight houses that have sold over a million and even one that sold over two million dollars so we're going to be watching that high-end market to see what happens there so another thing we're watching as an indicator where the market's going is our list of sales price um, right now for the last three months actually we've been averaging 96 to 97 percent list the sales price meaning if you had a house for a hundred thousand dollars on average you get 96 to 97 percent uh, of your asking price. Now, that's what I consider normal. In a normal market, that's what we would expect to see. And the good news is we've seen that relatively unchanged for the last two to three months, which I would suspect that to actually go up a little bit, maybe closer to 98, 99% as we head into spring, list the sales price. But it's showing that so far our market seems to be leveling out a little bit. And actually in a lot of price changes, we're still seeing appreciation. So what are the things that we're gonna be looking at coming into this year? Well, interest rates. We certainly wanna see those interest rates come down. The, the buyers are saying that, hey, we're already down to around six. They're stepping into the market. They're purchasing houses. They're excited. As that lowers even further, I think it's just gonna create that, that more demand for housing. We're also gonna be watching inventory. Right now, we're very low on inventory. There's 166 houses for sale. Um, I do expect that to increase as we had in the spring. So as long as the demand maintains and the inventory increases, it's gonna set up a better situation where if you're say selling a house and you wanna buy a house, you're probably gonna get a great price for your home, but have a little easier negotiating time finding that next house. So if you're looking to buy or sell this year and you're not sure when to do it, what might happen in the market, what can negatively or positively affect that experience, please reach out. You can reach us at 406-926-6767, and we look forward to talking to you soon.